No, I know, but hold on. Think about Interscope. Think about Interscope. Interscope was an indie. Okay, what but think P about did, it. What P did, right? What P did, yeah. Interscope did first. When I, Jimmy Iovine but Jimmy, Interscope you're right. to UMG. But Jimmy Iovine not black. That's what I'm trying to say. Most of yeah, it. But what I'm saying, but, okay, but I just named six to seven indie labels. And your name, oh, no. your name and all of the indie labels. What, what P just did, Lear Cohen just did on the sneak, and he's over at YouTube. What I'm saying is that usually we don't see people with the faces like you and me. Lear Cohen and YouTube has nothing to do with what he did with 300, and that's Kevin Lyle, no. and we gonna get credit for that too because that's a black man. The, Lear Cohen, no, 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 Lear, you know this. Lear Cohen owns the majority, 300. Entertainment. It doesn't matter. You're he, not gonna. You're not going we could, to. We're gonna give Kevin Lyles the credit. Kevin Lyles, bro. Yeah, no, we no, we gonna give Kevin Lyles his credit. But what I'm that trying to say is that. Black man, bro, get the fuck out of here. Come on, come so, on. So, so, Wax, you're trying to tell me that. Who ran 300? Let me ask you a question. Who ran that label, bro? Keep it 100. Um, Leor at YouTube. Who ran 300? While he's at YouTube, Kevin Lyles. Before, oh, oh. Leor. Facts. Bro, bro, listen. He was only there for a short time. He branched off, went over there. Kevin ran that. Yo, whack. I don't even know why. We, I feel like we're arguing the same point. My only point you know, is what this: I'm is, Are you trying? Hold on. Are you bro, trying to tell me that the majority black, of executives? Think, are you trying to tell me the majority of executives in the game been black? See, there you go, spinning. I say <laughs> the majority <laughs> of the indie labels. On black owned, that shit don't work with me. Act, you know my IQ is up. Yeah, okay, but for the like, it's not until now where most of these these bigger labels have to partner with the indie labels. Like for example, how Cash you had they been partnering. Cash Money partnered in the early nineties. Okay, that's a rarity. No limit partner in the early nineties. Hold on, that's Cash a rarity. Yo, these indie again. I'm just talking about the bigger picture in terms of who these owners and executives are. Like, for example, when you get these people the who sometimes... are owned by those people. The oh. indies who bring the talent, majority of them are owned by black people, bro. Yeah, but... So, so but that, no, no, you're right. That. No, no, you're right. But still, the majority of the market share of the hot artists wasn't coming from... Bro, we're not, we're not going, bro. Listen, listen. We talked about who the artists are signed to. You understand what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar was not signed to Interscope. He was signed to TDE when he was over there. You understand what I'm saying? Signed to TDE who got a contract with Interscope. You're right. Okay? Same shit. Tupac wasn't signed to fucking Interscope. He was signed to Death Row. Yeah, hold on. But, but, but I, we're, you know, we're talking past each other because I'm saluting P because the, the, the level that P got to He's in rarefied air, just like how, you know, I, I won't compare him. forget to... about 1017, Gucci Mane. No, 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 I know. I'm not comparing him to Birdman, but at least, yo, he went very high and far. He on his way. Yeah, no, of course. That's the only thing I was saying in in the sense of. Why are you of, saying went like, like his shit is over? No, I, over? No, I ain't say that. I'm trying to say I appreciate a nigga like that because. I do know if you like me personally, this is my personal belief. I believe what P did, I think Yo Gotti looks at and Yo Gotti wants to do. And I think he is doing it. Gotti there too. Gotti he's, on the move too. Yeah, That's he's doing it too. So, so, so but you see, all the indie labels you're naming are owned by black people. Okay. Bro. No, I get it. But what I'm saying what I'm saying is that this is why you have to appreciate, and that's why I appreciate a nigga like P. I don't care about, even if, even if it came back and it was like, oh, he, co I don't care. I wouldn't care. I'm and not no street nigga. Have, right? QC got his big boost. Hannah Montana, what's that? 2013? Yeah. 2014? Okay, right. Um, That dude, that gentleman had already been in jail for a year or two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. The murder case was dropped 2009, 2010, something like that. Whatever happened at the mall, he catched the gun case, 2012, right? Yeah. Nothing that went on in the streets is accredited to the rise of QC. Okay, all right. Because his rise came after the fact. His rise came when a nigga said, just like Lil Baby did it, I'm done with the street game, I'm going to go try to do it illegal game. Hey, so, so let me ask you this question, though. Do you feel like, 
I, I feel like you're making it personal with attacking Jake, though. You know what I mean? No, it ain't personal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Listen, Cam Roddy's personal. That's my brother. I feel what he feel. Mm, okay, okay. Right okay. or wrong, it's a go. And Pete can't stop me. So, wait, wait. You don't Cam see. Roddy's personal. You don't see any good in what um um 1090 Jake does? You know does? what it means? You know what it means to call my daughter and say, baby girl, uh, send me your college tuition thing so I can get over there? And she say, oh, Uncle Pete took care of that a week ago. Mm. Okay. Right? This, yeah, this is much different. I get it. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, nigga. The, the if it, if it wasn't Pedo, do you, do you understand at least and, and kind of see? What you mean? Bro, bro I, listen, I'm going to be real. I looked at it. If a nigga give a wrong description and the wrong description, I can send that to your phone right now. The wrong description leads to the dismissal of the murder case. I don't know where y'all come from. I know the game. Because mm. we don't want a nigga behind the walls. Oh, shit, okay. The dude it. ran into some bad luck. I read it. He got hit, shot four, five times of crazy shit. You know, between them years, you know, shit happened. We in the streets. But, you know, when it says the wrong description led to the dismissal, I mean, I don't know, bro. Actually, he ain't going to act. So, 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 so wait, do you think 1090J just got it wrong then? Bro, it's crazy. Rollo sat there and admitted to telling to apologize to his homie. He said he didn't tell. And then, <laughs> yo, act, read that little, what did it say? Well, you said it something? Said, Let me see. What did it say what I just said? Let me see what's going on. Hold on. See, my thing is, put it out there in its entirety. Okay, here we go. Some uh, it says they were uh, able to stop the defendant who was uh, a passenger in the car. Say make him out. They stopped him. They determined that he did have a murder warrant, but they did not recover a gun and he was taken into custody. And that's where we stand today. Part of the reason for the reduction, of course, is that the main evidence that ties the defendant to the scene is the identification of Pierre Thomas, who gave a description of the defendant. That there that there would be some discrepancies or inconsistencies. So oh, okay, <laughs> come on, man, listen, bro. We ain't gotta prove nothing, damn nigga, about how a nigga move. If whoever don't like it, y'all get to it. If y'all gonna talk about it, continue your conversation. But if you are gonna read it, read it in its entirety. Don't you find it quite odd that your boy uh, Zimmerman, aka Ten Ninety Jake, never brought none of this up? This is why you know what I'm saying. See, you act. If you got it, you're going to go through it. You're going to be like, right here, this is fucked up. Oh, no, right here, it looks like this. Well, right here, ah, uh, no. Right. But right here, it looks like he trying. That's what I going to do. I've seen you do it all the time. This nigga, he know how to read the first two paragraphs, and all of a sudden, his vision is blurred the next one. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. He, like he, def he definitely has, he has a trust of the people, so, like, I'm gonna be honest. Whatever he said, I was Bro, I was just kind of going. Has he read that? Has he read that to you? Mm, um, I don't. I don't oh, okay. think so. I don't think so. All right. All right. That's Zimmerman's first cousin, my nigga. We know what he's trying to do. Wait, now nah, some people in the chat do say. Some people say he did say that though. He said he he said that he, he didn't describe him the best, but he said something about a lineup, like like P pointed somebody out in a lineup or something. Like that. The wrong person. Oh. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be real, act. Let's get back to what we know. Act. Them people up at Spotify you got them contracts with, mm -hmm. they give a fuck about that shit? Oh, hell no. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest. People, you hey. them people that <laughs> with, give a fuck. You know what that means? You're yeah. a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course. And, and let me tell you this. Uh, like, I, I knew it was, I, I seen P at, um, I can't remember, it was a boxing event, and I remember Baby and him were performing. And, and P told me, and this is why I know he was on another level. He said, he said, all my deals, 
I do with Lucian at his house over dinner. He said that's how we do deals. That's facts. He said that's how we do deals. He said, he said, I know. He said we're we're on a first name basis. That's how it goes. All right, let me tell you where to get weird at though, right? I didn't see 1090 Jake reading the paperwork on that hood nigga that run around with Chris Brown. Wait, wait. Why didn't read that? Which one? The uh. And the two niggas is on the street, right? Who did just did nine years living able bodies. Released all the transcripts. Wait, wait. Why didn't read that? Which dude with Chris Brown? The hood, the producer nigga, the fat dude with the braids. You know what I'm talking about. Always with Chris Brown. Mm. He's a producer. Oh, producer, writer. Oh, n- look, look, Crip dude. Oh, not not the guy who just died recently in Miami, right? No, 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 no. He ain't no Crip. That's low. That's family. Rest in peace. He started with Ray J. Mm. I know him way back. Yeah, that's low. Damn. Wait, I, yeah, so wait, hold on. You like, know who Low is? You don't remember Low? Yeah, I'm gonna remind you who Low is. Act. Wait, 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 remember wait, 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 wait. You're not accusing uh, um um ten ninety Jake of like selective politicking now. Definitely, I'm, no, I'm definitely saying if you're gonna read the work, read the work. If he's saying he ain't got that work, that shit all over. I'm the one put it out. It's everywhere. And I got the two niggas, able bodies, fresh out of jail, that'll talk about it. You know what? They've been on Clubhouse. So what I think, I think somebody paying 1090J because he's skipping over shit, he's adding shit, he's not talking about everything. Talk about it in its entirety. Because when you talk about something in its entirety, those of us that know how to do math, we know how to do math. Mm. Yeah. It's the reason why the able-bodied man didn't speak out or say nothing the whole seven years he was in prison why P was rising to where he rose to. 2012 to 2019, did we not watch P rise? That, no, that's a fact. Hey, hey, yo, hold on. Not to get away from the P thing, because this is just like based on the stuff that I've seen and read. Like the Rollo stuff, he didn't tell, right? Like they say Rollo saw Rollo told. He told. Rollo, when, Rollo, when Rollo apologized to that dude, when it, if you hear me say, hey, homie, I'm sorry, Whatever, whatever that I said that and, and put your name in that and it wasn't supposed to, I did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? I did something wrong, bro. Like when the nigga fuck with a nigga breed and we don't know if the paperwork is real. You know that's you know my voice, I right? like unless it's a fucking AI motherfucker, that's me. No. Shit. So let me tell you where you remember low from. You remember because you were still working on that show with Joe Budden. Yeah, yeah. You remember, you remember when Chris Brown was doing that little signing or something up in the Bronx and they say one of Chris Brown's entourage got sliced in the face over a jacket? Oh, you know yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's him. That's him. Oh, shit. That's, yeah, that's him. Damn. Rest in peace for him. Goddamn. Yeah, that's him, yeah. So. You know. Wait. Th- it is what it is. Are you sure Rollo told? Hey, bro, I'm just going on the apology. When I heard yeah, the so, apology, so hold on. The I paperwork like, I got, right? The, 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 so, so, like, they sent it over. The, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I'll be very honest. They said, Rollo. Or- over, you know you should, You know how I love to hear you talk to? Mickey Truth. She got all the paperwork. That's where I get all my work from. Oh. So, 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 she got all the paperwork. So, so, detail so, for detail. So, so Rollo supposedly authorized his lawyer to send it to me that I could post. And, and I that's what I got. The, I sent you the shit showing you we called the lawyer's office and it was cap. But you didn't even want to talk about that. No, oh, no, it's the first time I've streamed since then. No, no, I sent it to your phone, bro. You didn't look at or listen to it. No, nah, I didn't listen to it. I listened to it. And I listened to it and I said... Did we not call that lawyer's office and they hey, said no, we know nothing about it? I'm going to be honest. I think what that story you is... You better recording for the people. I think what that story is is that that dude who said he pulled up because it, the dude came back out and said he pulled up on 21 Savage and read the paperwork for four hours. You run it right now. The no. attorney's office that they claim stamped at, you heard we called in there. Mickey True called in there. Y'all person. called in and, yeah. and, and and they said, hey, we're going to have to call you back. Did you listen to the second recording? There's a second recording? I sent you two of them. It's part two of that. 
See, that's what I'm saying. You should really get online with Mickey True, man. I'm for real, bro. I'm telling you. She good at what she do, bro. That's where I get all my work from. If we can't find it, she go get it. She Set- female, she cool. Mild better, she cool. So send me the second recording, because because the, the last thing I heard was, yo, hey, listen, okay, we're going to call you back. We're going to have I Mr. Steele. I got to do it. Look at the second one. It's right under it. Hold on. It's right under I sent you one, and then I sent you one in its entirety. Hold on. Let me see. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. I think, is it? Wait, maybe this is the oh, first one. Let's see. But you know, I don't even know fucking uh, Rallo. I don't know that. Right, but if you read the body of it, it's supposed to be like a, a. Oh, okay. That might be the first. Let me see the second. Yeah, I sent you a second one. We ain't cool. And y'all, though, they might not have said nothing. Really? Yeah. Right, I? No, I'm, I'm, no, no, I don't think I got the second one. Just send me the second one. I'm gonna figure out, but let me go get it from my page. All this shit I was sending you? A lot of people say Rollo, Rollo like really solidified in Atlanta, though. I'm gonna be honest. Hey, bro, Jimmy the Bull was solidified, too. What that mean? Because a nigga solidified don't mean, you know. And that goes for any of us. Shit. See, in order for a dude to be considered a rat, he was a dude that was once respected as something. You understand know what I'm saying? Just because a nigga was solidified, I don't mean shit. Mm. Oh shit! Oh, yo, you, you know who my chat right now? My man YB in the mirror. He in my chat right now. Suits my boy YB in the mirror, man. Which one is YB? That's the one signed to Jay Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a leader. Yeah, that's nasty. I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Cool. Uh, have you and Jay Prince like you know kind of? Have you always been the same with me? I ain't got nothing against you. Have you and Jay Prince kind of like, you know what I mean, you know, hash it out? Hash what out? Like, you know what I mean, just like got on the same page. I'm not a, I'm not a rapper, bro. We don't do that. That's what it is. He's not a rapper neither, like, but y'all are executives. Yeah, well, you know, I don't like motherfuckers telling me I'm lying. Did I not give you the contracts act? Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the contracts. I gave you the contracts, act like everything they said I did have, I gave to you. There you go, that was the full right there. Remember, we was lying, wasn't no paperwork, all we had was book rights. Remember all that shit, act? I yeah. gave you the contract. Here you go. Oh, man. Nigga made it look like I was trying to do some swindling of the family. Hey, 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 hey listen. I heard you talking to 1090 Jake on, on um Clubhouse. I would just give him a Clubhouse introduction. That's it. You know, <laughs> let him know. He he got lined up. We lined him up. We used a nigga to drive. You already knew what that was. I, you know, I, see, you know what we do. You knew as soon as I popped up out of nowhere, you knew what time it was. Everybody knew what he was. Yeah, nigga, but- don't come in this jungle. You don't run nothing over here. Yeah, but, I but, run Clubhouse. I think he was trying to debate with you, though. I think he like he feel like he got nah, some points. Nah, nah. You debate. I debate with people I respect. That was what we call a humiliation, a direct disrespect. What disrespect to my brother. There ain't no debate. I debate with you. I respect yeah, you, but well, not him. Yeah, but well, y'all both bloods. Nah, he ain't no blood. That's Zimmerman's first cousin, man. Do the background check. 1090 Jake is Zimmerman's first cousin, man. Damn. I think I think he used to like you too, man. I think like he, like because they don't like me. I like women. I don't like men. What are you talking about, bro? What's wrong with <laughs> yeah, that nigga, man? Nigga, man. <laughs> man, oh man. I think they had my name in fifteen titles and never talked to me, bro. Somebody says five twenty seven mark. They said. P identified the correct guy in the lineup. Wax not telling the truth. What you mean? It's in the work right there. What he did and didn't do. Was the murder thrown out? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I never I never was the So you think a nigga do seven years for a body? 
That's what I was thinking. Because I'm like, why you ain't get 100 years? Get out of here, bro. This nigga's is dumb as fuck, bro. The nigga didn't go to jail till 2012, bro. How in the fuck he doing time from 2009 on the murder and he chasing a nigga through the Lennox Mall in 2012, bro? Who you think this nigga is? Chaz Williams? He broke out of jail? Hmm. That's a good point. The murder was dismissed immediately. If the mall situation wouldn't have never happened in 2012, or he ran through there waving his gun, right, he would have never been to jail. Facts. This is, this is, some people, they say to my chat, they said, yo, Wax, are you sure you're not biased because, you know, he, you know, he, you know, he's like your uncle to, hey, bro, to your brother. Listen to, listen to what I'm saying, bro. Listen. I don't give a fuck what P did. So what? If you call that bias, call it bias. If you call that being a brother, call it being a brother. Just call me the older brother on Troy. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, so... <laughs> oh man, god damn, man. Yo, whack. I always tell people, man, you a great person to have as a friend. <laughs> you a great person because you but know you whack gonna be whack. Man, Listen, whack gonna be whack, but whack never gonna let them railroad you, man. They're not gonna. You're not act, gonna let them railroad you. Being a bad friend, act. Huh? You've been being a bad friend. Now nah, I don't I let them railroad you. Not now, don't air with me. Listen, listen. When you clear, I need a date where you can clear your schedule. I need 30, 45, 30 minutes. I need you to review some music, and then I need to have a conversation. I've been telling you that, and I'm about ready. So. Oh no, no, oh, no, that's easy. That's yeah, easy. well, I don't give a fuck if it's one in the morning, eight in the morning. Text me what day and time, and then I'll send you over. What it's gonna be? Actually, I sent it over prior to. That way, when we get on the jack, we can have that conversation. Oh, no, that's easy. That's easy. All right. So, um, music shit's always you easy, whack. You know what I mean? Music uh -huh. shit's always easy. No, you know why it's not easy? Because your ass is like the weather. You be on and off, motherfucker. No, like, yo, whack. Right. You gotta realize, like. Like I be I be the media, but half the time they 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 got me in the media. <laughs> I'm like, what is the thing? Act, act. Every dog, the sun don't shine in the same dog's ass every day. You know that. <laughs> That's true. Every every dog we, gonna have his we day. All, we all we all gonna have our turn. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, of course, of course, of course. You know what I mean? You know, it's those that got thick skin, they can handle it. The other ones, they get ran off. Hey, 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 with me, I'm like, yo, listen, I go by the drink, the, the drink methodology. I'm like, all right, yo, wait your little four days and let everything pass. <laughs> yo, let me ask you a question. Yeah. The last time I saw you in Miami, uh huh. Was nah. that the situation? That was that the situation? Nah, 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 nah. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, because I was wondering that by if. If that if that deal went through, yeah. So like I said, <laughs> yeah. when I'm calling you, I don't give a fuck what's, what's going on, right? Yo, I love this nigga white. This nigga white so dumb, you know, yo. <laughs> I'm old school, you know, I know how to dance, right? Nah, but yo, I hey. I said that because yo, yo, people. I just want you to know some some things act <laughs> unless you tell me to. Yeah, yeah. I will never pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because that's not. That's your thing. That ain't you know. Hey, hey, by the way, yo, yo, I seen I, 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 I whack pulls up on me in Miami. Let me tell you this, man. Listen, I would just say I hope whack don't got no problems with nobody and everybody keep it friendly with him because whack is whack's a nigga who's always ultra prepared. I'm gonna just say that we just gonna leave it at that one right there. I'm no, like bro, what. I mean he was he was so prepared. I'm wondering. I'm asking this nigga whack like nigga, where you think? What is the point? <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, man, listen, hey, hey, bro, listen, man. The world is crazy, bro. See, you don't even gotta just worry about street shit, right? You got motherfuckers open fire in the middle of the day with AR-15s, bro, for no reason. Nah, that's true too. We in dangerous times right now, bro. Nah, that's true. You could be in the movies, the grocery store, the schools, 
bro, niggas is just on some crazy shit. So it ain't even about a street dude. It's just about dealing with the world of today. Mm. It's God, real damn. shit. Nah, but whack. Listen, hey, for for anybody who ever wondered, man. Wack not coming with with, with two thousand security guards, but trust me, he got nah, security. Go, I've been, <laughs> he got I've security. Been out here. Hey, bro, I've been out here thirty four years doing what I gotta do to stay whole, stay sane, and survive, bro. A lot of these dudes, they just got a mustache eight years ago, and they think they're gonna tell a motherfucking vet how to move and what they gonna do. We was doing what they thought they think they was doing. Before they was even circulated in their daddy's scrotum sack. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we're not playing. We ain't looking for no problems, Zach. We just ain't running from nothing. That's it, bro. Man, oh, man. But, you know, tell um, Zimmerman, bro, it's part of the game, you know. But offense comes defense. You know, hey, everybody got their circle. Look, 6 9 Zach, we yeah. share a circle. We share the six guys circle. Yeah, no, of course. And, and, and by the way, but I, I, I think you, you know, I, I asked this question and I asked it to myself about you know ten ninety J because I'm like, yo, listen, not everybody is like Boston Richie now. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's some people in this game. Pete's definitely one of them. Where you have to be very on your point. And by the way. There's a lot of things that come with saying something about somebody like Pete. I'm going to be very clear. Like, Pete's one of those. He's a super. And by the way, here, here's a funny thing, too. I was surprised he addressed it because none of this affects his career. None of it. No, not at all. You know what I mean? It's like, if anything, this might be a nuisance for a day or two. Just with him, like, you know, like. You know, obviously he's connected to, you know, people and communities. But other than that, um, like, this guy's an industry titan. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing. I mean, I just seen, um, I'm going to be real, bro. I seen Pete take pictures with the mayor. I, I think I seen him. They gave him the keys to Atlanta, right? They don't, uh, you know, respectfully, where he come from, where he come from, where he at ain't where he come from. Mm. They don't get the keys to a city, to a a street dude. You know what I'm saying? I just like continuing to call a pastor that used to be a pimp, a pimp, and he's now the pastor of a large congregation. You gonna keep calling? You gonna refer to him as pimp or pastor? Which one? Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which one? Like he told you, I used to be a pimp. You know what I'm saying? You don't call I'm a pastor. pastor. Been a pastor twenty years. You know, I got four churches. You know what I mean? I'm sa I'm saving lives. So you know. Shit. Hey, I I I, I think I think he might be uh, um um uh, he might be getting my Discord soon. So I I, I hear I hear what, what uh ten ninety got to say. Who knows? You know what I mean? Who you talking about Zimmerman? Yeah, ten ninety J. I think I, I think you I think you fuck with him a little bit because you know a lot of things you are people like sometimes when. When you talk about on Clubhouse, like you got to work on somebody, he going he gonna to visually spell it out and people are like, oh shit, what well, Wack was telling us the truth. So, like, I don't I'm think. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, go from page one to page 30. Don't skip page eight, nine, and 10. It's reading its entirety. And mm. do what you do. That's what you want to do. We ain't tripping. All right. Nigga ain't going to miss no meals. Nigga ain't going to miss no business. His team standing with him, his family standing with him. His kids love him. He's a grandfather. His comrades love him. You know, that's what it is. You wouldn't have a, would you have a debate with like 1090 Jake? I ain't fucking with Zimmerman. The nigga killed the black man. And I ain't trying to kill another one. Some people ain't nothing to talk about. Hmm. Now, face to face, I love to see him face to face. You can set that up, act. For, for like a conversation? I mean, you know, that we want coming. 
I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. Well, uh, you know about me. Action, wax show up. Dolo. Uh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, listen. Huh? Yo, yo, Jake, let me tell you. Jake, Jake, I, Jake, I think you think you, I think you're realizing, man, and I said it right before I called you. I don't know if you're watching. I said, P and Wack are like brothers. They go way back. And trust me, I know, I, I knew way back. Before I even know Wack, like I know Wack now. I know Wack was willing to jump off a, a bridge for, for for P. So, yet this is nothing surprising for me. And yeah, I, this is pretty much exactly how I expected how to go. You know what I mean? Uh, let me ask you something. Let's keep it real. Have I not kept it real with you the same? You've been attacking and antagonizing my artist like a nephew to me, right? That's my boy, though. Do, you, I let you, y'all wait. I let y'all do y'all dance, right? Yeah, nah, you're right. You're right. No, nah, you're right. Right? No, nah, you're right. And by the way, that's my boy out of, too. Out of, out of, out of, that's that man like a that's a nephew to me. I love that young man. Hey. Wholeheartedly. Hey, hey. I hey. let y'all do your dance, right? That's a fact. You're right. Hey, by the way, that's my boy. I'm gonna tell you why that's my boy. It, like, I think we talk shit to each other really well. But yo, Yo, you ever been not fucking with somebody, then see some funny shit that they did, and you like, you can't help but laugh? I'm about to play this shit after yeah, this. Yeah, what's real is real. This bro. thing is hilarious. I'm going to tell you why you ain't keeping it real. You know you like that Hello record. You know it's catchy. You see it's growing. I'm growing like 27, 30% a day. I'm watching my numbers. And you ain't hit it yet, eh? Come on, bro. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. I'm out of respect. Out of respect to me, I should get some support. No, no, hold on, no. I'm gonna, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. If he catch one, I'm gonna be the dude. Like I'll talk out both sides of my mouth. Pause. I'm gonna be like, man, I think this and this about him, but man, he got one. I, I say that. Yo, hey. And by the way, I wasn't gonna let the fight happen, act because. Blueface will whoop your ass, Zach. I'm going to, yo, oh, yo, whack. Wait, hold on, no, hold up a minute. Yo, whack. I'm going to be honest. I found it kind of odd you want to fight little baby. No, no. You want to fight him, it's a little different. I'm going to be honest. I, I was, before this last fight with this dude, I was down the squabble game a little bit with Blueface. I thought, I know he got the, the height and shit, but I doubted it. But I watched the fight on stream and I said, maybe he got a little bit of squabbles. Little bit. No, and look, I'm gonna be real. The crazy little nigga was only at sixty percent. This nigga was still going to parties and fucking to the day of the fight, tripping. If he'd have been at hundred percent, he'd have ran through dude crazy. Whack. I seen a fight. You know what I said? I gotta bring in the Dana White. We gotta go MMA. Okay. <laughs> we got. I gotta use the whole body weight on him. I gotta. I gotta be able to just. I gotta be able to just lay on that nigga. Pause. I just gotta be able to just like uh, put my whole. If you're hey. watching MMA fight, but it's gonna be fuck weight limits and shit like that. How much he weigh? Uh, one e one sixty. Oh, good. I, I'm damn near hundred more pounds than him. I'm about to. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your ass better not be no two fifty, act. You got, bro. You gotta stop. I'm gonna see this act line die from uh, Doctor CB.